Hello and welcome back everybody, I'm One Proud Bavarian and this is Shah and Ujeva and the Pious of the Shabankarai Shardom, that's it, not Sultanate, Shardom. Um, in the last episode, wow, we had an amazing time, we, we blobbed everywhere, we straight up blobbed everywhere. Now, what we are going to do in this episode, I'm not entirely sure about yet, we're gonna see it develop. We do have a really nice... CB of a great, a great conquest against the Gurud Empire here. I would love to take Sistan off their hands, but let me tell you one thing. I think we can take them, even if they have 50-something K troops, they are losing money rapidly, and 50% of their income goes to the Western Protectorate, but if there wasn't the Western Protectorate, eh? At the moment, China is in a very high phase. They are in a golden age and expansionist. I, I don't know what to think about it, I'll be honest with you. Um... I have never really fought the Chinese Empire in my time. I think halfway in this episode, I will decide whether or not we go to war with the Western Protectorate by going to war with the Gurid Empire. Because the Gurid Empire with 52k troops, we probably can take. The Western Protectorate? Not so much. They're not on the map, but they do exist somewhere. Arakanese Mountains, by the way. Interesting. They must exist somewhere. What are we going to do until then? I was thinking we just do a quick holy war and hope that the Gurid Empire doesn't em en ugh, enter, but if they do, we destroy them. That sounds easier said than done, because it is, but my plan is essentially to have them come, destroy their troops and then have somebody rebel here. You know, if there is anybody to rebel at this point in the game, I'm not certain about that, but I will do my best. We'll also get some trade practices to be able to build up our trade posts even further. Uh, I'm also going to go with some popular, uh, with uh, some tolerance. That's what I meant to say there. Smart. Small mercenary garrison. Absolutely. Can I already go to the max with everything? I mean, maybe I can. Might just be a bit misinformed, but that's okay. We still have the mercenaries active here, and we're just going to invade for, I think it's called Merva. Dihistan. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of thinking about Merv. And you know, like, looking at it, maybe we're gonna go for Merv, actually. Right? It's kind of cool going for Merv, I think. And it's, I mean, it's four provinces. Who's sieging this down? Kartrit Satrapy. Oh, they're already going for Sarax. You're going for Dashuwas. Wherever the fuck that is. Dashuwas. Can't even... <laughs> what? What are you going for? No, not, not you. I mean, you. Conquest of Dashovus. Karabogas. <laughs> Karaboga, that's gonna be the, the episode title, I can already tell you. I can already tell you this, unless I forget which... Oh, Dashovus, there you go. Unless I forget, which might very well happen, but let's hope I don't. I will conquer Dihistan. And then we only need to take Merv, but that will become independent one way or another. It's a bit of a shame that you are gunning for that stuff over there, but maybe we can get away with it. Let's set a new gathering place over here. Thank you very much. And then you shall start the assault by heading in over here. And starting the sieges. Now the question is, how many people will actually aid them? I honestly don't see a lot of people aiding them. But I have been wrong before. I could be wrong again. I would not be confused if that were to be the case. I'm gonna go ahead and just siege as much down at the same time as we can. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that is kind of what we do best. Just siege everything down. Why, what about you, like, going over here, I guess? Look at us just, like, marching through here. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, is this 15k? Like, can I, can I park 15k here? I can't. Damn. Alright, what about you just go over there? We're going to take Dihistan, and I think we are like just going to do that without a single fight. Nobody's aiding them, so it is what it is. We've and yeah, we've captured a random man that has nothing to do with this war. Bad luck for him, I suppose. Wait, did we just siege this for? Ah, I hate when that happens. You're already going up there. You know what? Just come back. Don't worry about it, mate. Don't you worry about it. Is this for my friend oh that's the lady that made me do bad things i will actually i think make him my concubine 
absolutely. I will also ask you to please convert so that you can hear the teachings of Zoroaster. 10%. Are we being... No, okay. You want to marry my daughter? No, no, no. I am going to marry my daughter. You have it all wrong. A very confused person. I can already see. Let's go running. Right. Let's go defeat these enemies. What about that? I think that sounds feasible and good. Kizilzu. Right, let me just see here. Did you hear that... <laughs> Deruda is... The Root, you know the Root, right? Sandstorm, all those jokes. But they are actually going to be at Eurovision next year. I was ecstatic when I heard about it. Also, this was a very close capture, uh, close combat, I mean. Also, we just conquered like everything. Hmm. How many people can I get here? 14.2k, that's easy. Okay. And I'm gonna watch it. The Root, Sandstorm. I mean, they have to do their own thing, but still. Like, they have to do a new song. Every band that comes to Eurovision Song Contest has to come up with a new song to even be there. So that's the entire idea of it. You can't just come with a commercial hit and just be like, Hey, this is my song, everybody. Haha. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, there it is a silly kind of... Amazing. It's a silly kind of uh, competition, but it is a competition that has certain rules and as silly as those can be, they aren't always. Oh, you know what? I'm going to murder you. I just really want to defeat this man. Where the fuck did you go? You absolute dickwad. What is the Guru Empire doing here? Oh, they are coming in. 63k. Are you fucking joking? I mean, they do have a Buddhist revolt, but man, that's chief. This ain't it. We got lucky. We didn't have to face the Gurren Empire, so I think that's a definitive plus. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that at all. But man, let me tell you, there, there could have been way worse circumstances. Persepolis is still not touched by the sickness, but you can't trust it. You just can't trust it. Let's build this up a bit and then put out our stuff so our hospital right now is definitely not in a condition to be you know viewed as like wow this is so good absolutely not no 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 no. it's a mediocre hospital i just keep it around because you know everything else is worse and it's a good start it's a good start i guess but you always have to make sure that you don't come under fire of sickness and having a hospital sometimes make me uh, makes me leave the gates open too long which then makes it so that i get sick and die so we didn't get Karaboga in this war, but we did get pretty close to Karabogas. That's a that's a meme, by the way. I'm a meme expert, if you haven't heard of it. We do memes, and they're funny. Where's my... Excuse me. Did I just dissolve my... I did. I just dissolved my mass and respect, so that's fine. Let's make some money. What are you going for? You're going for Holy Wolf of Merv. Oh, please, baby. Do it. Absolutely. Now, if they do get tracked, I think that is fine. But if they get it, I mean, come on. That's amazing if they did. Is there sickness here yet? Yes, close the gates. Close the gates. Okay, there you go. We closed the gates successfully. And now I think it is time. Time for what? Wait, I'm confused. It was a time here, I swear. I wanted to do something. Oh, well, first of all, let's create the duchy that we cannot create, so let's not do that. We're an unlanded sun, that's okay though. Yeah, we have smallpox over here. Yikes! The good empire is just dying. <laughs> Where's this rebellion at? How long until you'll defeat it? Uh, I love how big the Gurud empire is. I, I hate that they're part of the West, uh, Western Protected because I think otherwise we could easily attack it, but... Could be worse. It could always be worse. We could do have some de jure vassal claims, but that's not really it. That would just lead to chaos. We could just declare another holy war. What's your opinion on that? Oh, it's a good, it's a good plan. I agree. Thanks for 
being in agreement with me. Let's also get some bigger retinue. I love horses. I also found out, I mean, it was mentioned by somebody else, but I found out in the history tab here. But the Arsacids were Kurds. They were Kurdish. The first Turks to properly rule then were the Sassanids. Uh, and they, I mean, not, yeah, the first Persians. Sorry, that's what I mean. They were to rule were the Sassanids, and they ruled for a very long time. But Zoroastrianism, the Persian Empire, Kurds. I had no idea. Could release this man, I guess. I'm gonna, I guess. I don't really want him in my prison. Get out of my, I have 43 prisoners. I will ransom all prisoners that I can. Why wouldn't I? Right, we're losing a lot of money because of the retinue, but that's just the way it is. It is the way the cookie crumbles. Help her in any way you can. I hate this Western Protectorate situation because the way it looks right now, first of all, we're going to lose the two kingdoms, Sistan and Kabulistan over here. But long term, this will just be a mega India. And a mega India? Certainly not what I was gunning for. When I created this let's play. I was like yeah let's just blob around and have some fun. And then Mega India shows up and ruins the, the entire gig. Why do they do that? Only we knew. Alright I do think though. That with all jokes aside. It is time to attack the Ayubids. Because we should be quick enough right? I think we can get this done. Let's go for Mosul. And then. Wait a second. We have a truce because I tried this. No, we don't have a truce anymore. But I tried this last episode and it went horribly wrong. I remember this. Yeah, that was that was a big, terrible decision I made there. I love how the Turks just live in Greece now. <laughs> you know what? I think we can do it, though. I think we can do it. Let's try it. Let's go in. Delete him. Get out of there. What I'm going to do first, actually, is I'm going to hire mercenaries that I shouldn't have dissolved. How much money are we making? I'm going to hire you, the Arab company. Right. You even were the ones that we just had until now. It's dangerous factions. Are you crazy? Excuse me? I think you're busy fighting a different war, but I don't like him. I will admit it. I really don't like him. He's too powerful. Far too powerful. Let's just redefine this over here. Nope. Over there, thank you. Once the mercs are over, we will start sieging down the Ayubid territory and in the hopes that we can actually gain land there and do it quickly enough to actually get away with it too. For the empire, we need <laughs> quite a lot of land more. Quite a lot of land more. I like, by the way, how this looks like it's, it's essentially like a, what do you call that, a clipper? No, fuck, what do you call that? A scissor. Like a crab scissor, right? This is one arm, and then this is the other arm. This is a bit like a short, crippled arm, but it is an arm, nonetheless. How many people? It's 27k, okay. Easiest money I've ever made. And Ushirvan has been born. Nice. Also, we caused, uh, we called the pious. It says a lot about the society we live in. I wish we could do stuff like, you know, for Syria, Yemen, or whatever, but we just simply can't. There's, I don't need any further explanation, okay? We just can't. Four provinces, let's try. And if we fail, so be it. But if we succeed, now that is an option. I hope. Right, let's get in there. Get him done with, uh, get him dealt with. And I... Excuse me? Excuse me? How many? How many people did you just say? I'm just going to throw them in, I guess. They're, because they are, like, low uh, organization. Yeah, there you go. I think we got them, right? Oh. Oh, we did get him in the end. And that is all that matters. Captured in battle. He's now my prisoner. Oh, my God. What a terrible battle that was. What did they... How did they do that? They have so much money. I mean, <laughs> That explains it. Yeah, 15k hired. Fuck me. You gotta be fucking bullshitting me. I'm gonna keep everybody here in the reserves, I think. Because it's a very short way from over here to over here. We can just win multiple fights. The question... Oh, oh, oh. I don't, I don't like it. I hate it. In fact, if you weren't aware. Brrr. 
15 minutes in. That's roughly half the episode. I don't think it's going to be this episode in which we attack the... I don't... Why are you so strong? 80k? Are you crazy? Oh my goodness. Yeah, the Western Protectorate... I mean, even if it wasn't the Western Protectorate, I don't think we can mess with that. I just, I just don't think we have it in us. Let's see if we have it in us to mess with the uh, are you beats. That's the real question here. No, this is my daughter. I will have intercourse with my daughter. Nobody else will. Don't tell anybody that you ever say these things if you play this game too. Just don't, never mention it, okay? All right, I think we got him really good here though. The Protector General of the Heavenly Emperor addresses a letter to the honored Shah of the Shabankarai Shardam. Heaven's blessing upon thee. It has come to the attention of the Heavenly Emperor of the Jin Empire that merchants from your lands have been acting with deceit and dishonesty. Royd. I'm gonna lose some city tax over this. I'm okay with that. Because the grace is kinda nice. Jesus fucking Christ, these battles. That is terrible. Terrible, terrible battles. Frankly. I'm gonna split them into two and that's it. Just leave, come on. Get out of there. Yeah, you're just gonna keep sieging this down. How many people are against us yet? Oh, only three additional people came in. I think I can catch this person. How many people do you got? 14k. <sighs> We're losing money now because of the retinue. So if I take down the retinue reinforcement, we should be able to hire somebody here. Down to 2.9k, fucking hell. We're gonna hire the Bedouin company, I think. Just bring him up north, boys. Oh, there they are. There they fucking are. Alright. Here we go again, I guess. It's a wild ride these days. It really is. Oh, come on, you gotta help the flanks. Okay, we did win, but under way heavier cost than what would have been necessary. Goodness me. What a terrible cost. 96% though. This is over. Wow. That was a terrible war. Let me tell you. Terribly tough war. That That is pretty much what I'm getting at. It's a terrible, terrible tough war. But we did win it. We did win it, boys. Damn, we got away with it. Alright, um, our retinue is kind of fucked, but that's okay. We're gonna have you go back home. Is the sickness gone yet? It totally is gone. Beautiful, let's open the gates. There you go. Open the gates, and let's hand out titles here. I'm not certain that I have the duchy title, I kind of doubt it, but... <sighs> man, expanding like this, it, it really costs me some nerves here, you know? You sit down and, man... It's kill or be killed, and at the end you stand there without any army left to face your vassals if they were to rebel against you. But that is the thrill of this series, I suppose. While we are blobbing extraordinarily aggressively, we are always in a state of fear, if you will. Because there are plenty of people around us to beat us up. I mean, I don't think I'm the first to tell you that. Peasant leader, you know what? You shall be a ruler, peasant. For no reason whatsoever. Literally no reason whatsoever. I'm just going to pick from the top people, <laughs> as I always do. Mazul and a, so what is the rest here? Sinjar, sure. Send out Sinjar, there you go. Do we have the duchy? Can I create it? Duchy of Mazul, there you go. That's what I want to see. Right, uh, there you go. Good luck, buddy. A nice wolf could hold mm. look at us we look nice uh, except the west except the east I think we could do better in the east but other than that we look beautiful like a newly created wonderful something could search a smith here to get some stuff going we don't even have a crown do we where, where did we get these from Kosru Zarin Kamazada so we stole these from somebody, is what you're saying. He died in my dungeons and I just got his shit. Thank you! Thank you so much. That's really cool of you. Yeah, they're both pretty good. 
give one of them to the Chinese, I guess. Oh no, because they are Chinese, I obviously can't send one to the Chinese. What I will do is I will hand out good old eunuch. Yeah, what about you, sure? There you go, buddy. Take him. Right, so far so good. I think if we won one war here, yeah, if we won one war for Sistan, we would be like perfectly 90k. It is insanity. Absolute insanity. The amount of troops this little fucking boy has is not okay anymore. Why do you love him so much? Content. Yeah, you fucking content every time. Right. Anyway. You're still the same old king, right? Yeah, okay. How's your war going here? Ah, uh, yay. Ah, uh, yay. I love this song. It's a good song. Alright, let's just... Oh, I don't... I don't like this. That's bad. Iani's host. I shall, first of all, get some more horse archers. But, second of all, I shall raise some troops to kill this old chap. If we can. Should be able to, but, you know, you never know. I aim to ble uh, please, please take this eunuch. It will probably be very nice for you. Raiders. Um, let's get our marshal to do it and hope that it works out. Ah, uh, I have to root about myself. I enter in at night and now I surrender. Fuck. <laughs> um, I could just plead for mercy, I guess, but I think I just pay the money. We'll, you know, for a short time, we will be in the negative here, but we'll be fine. Come on, man. I, we've been in the negative plenty of times before in our lives. It's a shame, though. It's a shame that the bandits uh, will now remain there. You're 15 years old. That's okay. Oh, are you going in there yourself? Did you fail or succeed in this? Oh, they have the Gurids against them. They're done. Yeah, they're fucking done. They're wasted. Oh, boy. Are you killing them? And I don't need to do it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's even doing it. Damn. Congratulations. All right. Bump this up again. Actually, let's bump this down. I should also pursue the title, by the way, I am ambitious. That is who I am. Indeed. Right, we're almost back up to positive numbers again. Mm. Man, we're so powerful, but <laughs> we're like the little brother in the West. The tiny little brother in the West. Uh, sure, you can rebel against me. Try it. Try me. Why don't you? Uh, let's just hold the tournament for the moment and make some money while we have it and yeah I mean this invasion is done your, your invasion is done buddy Ooh. I sent an emissary to us suggesting that it is time to allow the Jin Empire to become our official sovereign as the Chinese bureaucrat idly twirls his mustache his translator clarifies it is only the natural progression of our current relationship my lord well fuck Oh boy. That was so weak too, only 22k. Think we can succeed in this? If we become an imperial tributary, you are an imperial tributary, right? And why do you have 91k? Are you shitting me? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna be smart here. I think I'm gonna be smart. Can I do this? Let's try to break the system. I swear fealty to him, right? And then I'm gonna say I will not kneel before you. Right, he's he's attacking us now. My council informs that the Chinese Empire sends 43k. I think we can deal with that. Significant forces from the heart of the Middle Kingdom to support their outlying regions in the West. Leaning over the war table, I can only hope my silence instills confidence in my advisors. In my own chest, I feel a mild panic rising. I've arrived in the Ganzu Corridor near the province of Jingquan. Whatever the fuck that means. Are you Jingquan? Hello, hello? 
Where is Jing Quan? Oh, they arrived over here. Long march. That's a cool. That's a cool symbol. I have to climb. Right. So the <laughs> breaking the system didn't work. That's what we know now. All right. Fair enough. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's uh. Fuck. Let's see how this goes, eh? We got some random land. I'm gonna give that away. I I will I will wait by the way for the moment until I until I actually raise my troops because you can see it rises daily here. I'm just so afraid. Why are you hostile to me? Why are you hostile to me? Yes, because you he actually calls them in. I'm surrendering. I'm done. No, I'm I can't I can't deal with this man. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. All right. We're a tributary now, boys. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, there you go. Western fucking protectorate, huh? Wow. That is incredible. That is incredibly tough, most importantly. Our income is, is is in the gutter now, isn't it? No, no, I, I need you to show me my income. Also, hello, my sis, my daughter. Pardon me. You are my concubine now. Welcome. Uh, honestly, actually, it doesn't appear. I mean, the tribute does take a lot of money, but we can still have one mercenary group and be fine. Like, perfectly fine. Ah, oh, man. Tja. Why does he have 90k? So, good to know. Good to know. That they send... Fucking hell. Good to know that, they, that their tributaries are called in as well. Can I faction in the tributary? No, I can't. Damn. What do you do from here? <laughs> what do you do from here? What do you do from here? Yikes. Yikes. Holy War is an absolute no-go. I mean, we all know this. I can't defeat this dude. I, I guess I could swear fealty. How much... How much do you actually pay to your liege? You know what? I think it's smarter, and I mean, call me silly here, but I think it's smarter if I swear fealty to him and then try to rebel against him. Because if I'm not mistaken here, right, we're no longer tributary to the Chinese. How much do we yeah, look at this shit. Holy shit! It's so much better to be a tributary to this nerd over here than to be a tributary to the Chinese. Could go for the Dujura claim here. What other thing do we have? God, now we need to use this map mode. What's up with you? Nothing much. Um, I'll just go for the du jour war for this. It's it's a rivalry war at the moment, so I don't think this actually leads to anything. But I can get the du jour thing here. Wow. This is crazy. You know what? I won't become your steward. Why don't you suck it, huh? You want me to kill this kid? Sure. I'll join some, some plots here. That's all right. I will not be a commander for you. This kid, I swear to God. Oh my goodness. Gurds themselves have so little power. He's a Persian. Interesting. Where's independence? Oh boy. Who are you? Oh boy, the Mamluk Sultanate. Let's do it, boys. I'm ready. My body is fucking ready, yeah? I'm ready as I can be. I think this is the smartest choice and kind of lucky to a certain degree. Because now we're making bank and we can rebel against the Gurud Empire. Yeah, this is pretty cool, I think. Um, Can I get Sistan by any chance? I need you. I, I want to buy a favor from you. Obviously, okay, you say no. What about you, my friend? Oh, baby. 
Realm never rests. Let's try it. Ah, diligent. Nice. Right, we bought a favor from you. Ask to join factions. Oh, baby. Come on. You gotta do it. You gotta press the fucking button, yeah? Press it, baby. Press it. You're already in this. Yeah, okay. What about... What about oh, you're the, you are the Mamluks. You're the Mamluk revolt. That's okay. Press the button. I need the faction leader right now to press... I am the leader. When did that happen? I'm pressing... I'm pressing the fuck... Oh, if I demand... Can I, can I give you a white piece? No? Are you kidding me? Hey, this war will end in a sec. Why, why are we not starting to siege? Hello? Hello? Is anybody, is anybody there? I'm the faction leader now. Which means that we can legitimately do this. Why are we not... There you go. Thank you. All right. Yeah, get it. Cut him down. I think we're doing this. I think we are actually doing this. Hmm. Interesting. One hundred and fifty-nine. God damn! It's actually working, huh? I'm gonna just keep sieging this down because they can't attack us. And once this castle falls, we're just like, this is an easy money. This is the easiest money that I've ever had. My question is, if we rebel against him, does the does the do the Chinese come in? Because if they do, we might be fucked. Like we <laughs> we just might be fucked. I'm gonna make the decision right now. In this very episode. Right, and there you go. You're a Sunni, by the way. Oh. Oh, you can take care of that, sure. All right, baby. 170 fucking two. I'm going to hire mercenaries right now to make us seem even stronger. Oh, apparently didn't want to be here. Anyway, I'm doing it. You think he's... I don't think he can call him in. We'll see about it, okay? I'm not entirely sure. Let's do it right now. Demand independence. Here we go. This is the time. And war it is. <laughs> Fuck. Right. Um, see you in the next episode, boys. 99k. Fuck me. Are the Chinese... I don't think the Chinese are going to be in this. I think we're set. I think this was the wisest thing that I've done in a hundred years. I'll see you in the next episode. I am so happy. This playthrough is so much fun. Seriously. I love it. I love it to pieces. See you later, alligator.